Next question. What do we argue about the most? Pettiness. <laughs> Random petty. Pettiness. So, <laughs> right? <I don't> <laughs>
when did we become when did we become official as boyfriend and girlfriend oh october 4th yes at midnight at midnight so uh <laughs> who said i love you first you <laughs> no, no i did not i just said okay so no it's not it was not me but i told him that i had a strong feeling for him so i guess he took it as i said i love you first but no i did not say i love you first he actually said i love you first well you told me that you, you know you prayed for me and <laughs> then i guess Yes, God I did. Your prayer, so yeah, I, did. I, am, I guess I'm a blessing. Uh, you are a blessing, but I did not say I love you first, so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is kind of like general, but which qualities in me attracted you the most? I think you said that the um, the first question. What was your first impression of me? So this one right here. Which qualities in me attracted you the most? Well, you're family oriented, um, which you know I'm family or oriented as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, goal oriented. You know what you want out of life. Um, yeah, pretty much the same answer to the first question. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, when did you first think of proposing to me? How did you know it was time to to propose? <laughs> well, we were living together for a while prior to uh, it leading to that, you know, to the proposal. So uh, just being, you know, us living together, mm -hmm. uh, know what we like and dislike about each other and just being able to um, to be able to, you know, to deal with each other. Okay. And, and like you said earlier, uh, to be able to compromise. Okay. And you know these questions, you have 10 seconds to answer this, right? What? Answer what? All these questions. Okay. Okay, so... So after you proposed... Oh no, I mean like when you were, you know, uh, thinking of proposing... Did you already know what I would what I would say after you proposed? Of course. <laughs> Dang! Confident that much? Like, that was very confident. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, when do you think I fell in love with you? Um, at first sight. <laughs> you were head over heels for oh me. Oh my god! It showed, you know. So. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe that though. It's a fact. Uh huh. Whatever. Um. Okay. So this is. So this is a question regarding your family and parents. It says, what did your friends or parents say about me? When obviously you told them about me and stuff like that. Repeat that question again. What did uh, your friends and your parents yeah. think about me when you told them about me? Um. Because obviously the, I came the, the main thing when it comes to, you know, being able, you know, to, you know, when I told my parents about you and everything like that, the main thing is is, is that as long as I'm happy, they're happy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's the main thing. As long as I'm happy, they're happy. Yeah, and I think your parents told me that too. Like, yeah, they, 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 they don't they don't put a lot of input and stake into my relationships because they know I have a good head on my shoulder. They, I mean, they raised me, so they know who I am. Mm -hmm. So they know if if I'm you know being serious with somebody, then it has to be a good reason. You know for it so you know i got their blessings and as long as i'm happy they were happy yep same exact thing that they told me um <laughs> what is my worst habit <laughs> you have so many i don't know where, i don't know where to start to what is my worst habit babe um your worst habits yeah like i know i have something that you're like damn babe <laughs> no well consistency we, i think that's one of them that you keep telling me is it is it like a worst habit yeah though? well well have it so i'm doing that because i got to make sure I'm, I'm, i answer that in the, in the in the appropriate context of it um well, you used to have a habit, and you've gotten better over time. You used to force things. 
when it comes to um, it's probably about food. spending. When it oh. comes to spending, okay. like you know, when it comes to spending, like if if you know, don't force it. Like if you don't have it, don't force it. So mm -hmm. you you know, since we've been together, you you've, you've gotten better at managing your your money and your finances much better. I agree. But obviously, at the beginning, I felt like you used to <laughs> force things. I agree. You know. And even told, uh, told some of my friends that you're kind of like my financial advisor because every time I want to buy something, you would tell me, do you really need it? Right. Or you just want to, you just want it. So, right. And it's okay to, it's, it's okay to spoil yourself. That's what you work for. You don't want to feel like you're just working to pay bills, right? You, so you want to have that sense of, uh, you know, or get retail therapy where you just feel like, you know, you want to spoil yourself for your work, but you just have to make sure that you don't force it though, right? If it, you know, if you... If it's going to put you in a financial bond, mm -hmm. then you don't probably probably don't need it. So I agree. Yeah, that was I can't deny that because that was me before. Because I felt like every paycheck I needed to like buy something for myself. So. And then go back to what you were talking about in terms of being consistent. Yeah, that I mean that is one thing <laughs> a habit um, that you have. It's just not being consistent. You know, if you have a goal in life. You know, he's being be wrong. Consistent. He's you being know. wrong with you guys. I am not editing this. You can't, you know. So that's the main thing about it is that if you want to, if you want to do something, just be consistent. Yeah. Uh, don't deviate from it. You know. Yep. There's no shortcuts. You got to put in the work. True. Um. Next question. So yeah, he's being raw. That's that's how he really talks to me. Isn't that just? in the video but that's really what i hear every time well not every time but it's it you know it's in a good, good way because it puts me in to in my place right in a good place in a good place yeah, in a good like places that. you know yeah at first i thought oh here we go again he's lecturing me or whatever but in you know honesty it's really not he just cares so much about his love of his life <laughs> so uh what scares you the most about me <laughs> you can be a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's leave it less bad. Next question. <laughs> Next question. What is your biggest fear in this relationship, in our relationship? The biggest fear in our relationship? Yeah. I don't I, I feel I don't have a fear simply because I feel like our love is so strong that there, nothing's going to break it. Oh. You know, so Aww. I don't have a fear, you know, I don't, you know, I'm a pretty confident individual, so I don't, you know, I'm not like insecure where I fear like yeah. you're going to go and do this and that and vice versa. So we've already always had that understanding yeah. at the beginning stages of our relationship. So I really love that answer because it's true. Right. Yeah. I, I really love that about you. Cause, um, cause, it, cause you would think about it when you, when you, when you ask that question, if you have a fear mm -hmm. of whatever, that means that you're insecure about something, right? Yeah. You know, something has to be stoking that fear. So if there's no fear, that means that everything is going well. Okay. Um, you know, everything's on up and up. So, right. And I know I, I, um, I tell some of my, um, you know, close friends actually about this because, um, when it comes to to Rod, every time I go out, it's this kind of kind of like scares me that he doesn't care about me. Every time I go out, he lets me like you know go with my girls, with my girlfriends and stuff like that. He does not text me, so it made me feel like he, like when I'm out with the girls, he does not text me, hey, where you at or whatever stuff like that. At first, I was kind of like worried. I'm like, huh, he doesn't care what I do or stuff like that. But no, he just have a lot of confidence in him that no, my my wife is definitely having fun. Um, you know, I don't have to check up on her because if there's something wrong, she's definitely gonna call me. So I think that's what you were thinking because he does not like text me or stuff like that. Maybe he will text me if I like come home, like you know, maybe like in the middle of like or in you know the morning, like hey, what happened last night? But no, he doesn't you know, check up on me and stuff like that to make me feel comfortable that, you know, um, he's okay with me being with girlfriends. All right. So, good job, babe. So, um, I think, so who was the first person you told about us? So your parents or T? Are you going to answer that for me? It's because you only have tea and... and <laughs> uh, let me answer the question. You know, okay. Is this like a multiple choice question or something? You just, I 
this is or, just a generic question, right? So, uh, definitely T. It was T. Yeah. Okay. T is his um, best man. His uh, one of his 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 best, best friend. friend. Yeah. yeah, my best friend. He was my best man in my uh, in our wedding. Wedding. Mm -hmm. So, next question: What do we argue about the most? Pettiness. <laughs> Random petty pettiness. So, <laughs> right. I don't know. It's just it's just it's just random pettiness. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but I think it's pretty common in most relationships. Yeah. I, you know, I, I have conversations with my peers at work, and it seems like we're married to the same, <laughs> you know, woman. You know, but they're going through the same stuff that <laughs> that I go through. So uh, you know, you know, so you have to learn how to, you know, deal and and be sensitive to. The, you know, women emotions and how they feel. So, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of pettiness, really. Yeah, just random pettiness. Yeah. So, is there anything about us that you regret? No. Okay. No Let's regrets. That. What is my best habit? I think it goes again to the other two questions. But what is my best habit? Your best habit. Um, Dang, it's hard to think of a best habit. No, I'm just trying to figure out uh, your best habit. Um, I would say, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you consider a habit. It's a good habit. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I have to go back to that question or something because I can. You know, it's good to have. But, because I, I don't want, I want to make sure I keep it in the proper context. I don't want right. to, you know, say something and it's not even in the proper, in the right context. True. Okay. Um. <laughs> yes. No, baby, go to Ate. So next question: If you could throw away one belonging of mine, what would it be and why? One belonging of yours. Yeah, something that you're like, damn, babe, like you've had that for a while, or something that you hate for me to be still using, that you wish I could just throw it away or whatever. I don't have anything in particular um, that you have that I've been like, oh my god, she threw this away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only thing that I've I think I've mentioned to you before is, is about cleaning out your closet. Like you have you have a lot of clothes that you don't wear, you know, yeah. that you haven't worn in several years. So, you know, I mean, I think that's the only thing that comes to mind. Okay. The clothes that you don't wear anymore or yeah. haven't worn in like two or three years. It's like, what's the point? It's just... Mm -hmm. I just like to keep things, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, and I'll and, and kind of add to that, I guess, is some shoes, shoes you don't wear. I'm not talking about pumps and nothing like that. I'm talking about you have probably I gave them 13 out. tennis shoes. Oh, those are my workout shoes. Anyways, next question. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Those are my workout shoes. Uh, you only need 13 workout shoes. <laughs> 13, where's the 13 coming from? I don't know, it's a lot. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, who is more romantic? <laughs> Of course, me. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it as that, maybe. I think, I don't know. Are you? Of course. Okay. Of course. But see, I'm a romantic, I'm a, I'm a romantic and I guess, I don't know, see, so for me, when it comes to, like for me, I, I spoil you, right? So, I guess my way of being romantic is just spoiling you sometimes. Oh, this is so, you know, you, you know that's a fact. So for me, like I, I do that stuff out of love, you know, spoil you. So I mean, it may, it may not fall upon a rom rom being romantic, but I think it does show. It's, it's a form of affection, you know, yeah. of showing that you care about somebody and you want them to have some nice things and good things and stuff like that. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay, so it's you. Of course. <laughs> Confident much. Okay. Nineteenth question. What is your? How many questions do we have? Twenty-five. You have six more. <laughs> no, oh, damn, 19 minutes? 
Anyways, so 19th question. What is your idea of a perfect Saturday? Spending time with the family. Yeah. Just Same. family time. I think as um, we get older, I think we, now we always think the value of family time. Yeah, we put more time into our family and kids, or into our kids than ourselves sometimes. And that's something that we're trying to work on is trying to have time for ourselves that we do mm -hmm. need to have time for ourselves. So, um, but yeah, just, you know, spending time with the, with the kids, you know, is, is, a, is, a, is a perfect Saturday for me. True. So what is the best gift I have ever given to you? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably put this as the worst gift I have ever uh, given to you. Uh, no, I'm not going to bring up this, no, them <laughs> shoes that you got mad that I didn't really like. But um, Whatever. the best gift you ever given me was a surprise birthday party. I've never had a, a surprise birthday party before and, and it totally caught me off guard. And, I mean, oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was a great event. I mean, I, I really enjoyed that. So, it wasn't something that you bought. It was just just the, the just the whole surprise, the uh, the surprise birthday party. Okay, yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> like, no, this is excluding. Obviously, Cameron is my number one joy, but <laughs> yeah. outside of Cameron, I would say, um, you know, our birthday the party. surprise. Oh my God, you remember that? I don't even remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I did good. Anyways, next question. What was our last argument about? Um, <laughs> Earlier. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Almond milk. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, and, and I knew that you were trying to take it into a direction where it was going to lead to an argument. But anyways, I <laughs> used the almond milk for my <laughs> coffee yesterday. It was a little bit left in there, but it wasn't enough for her coffee. <laughs> and all of a sudden, here comes pettiness from <laughs> Wilma. And, you know, here comes oh my the God. silent treatment. <laughs> <laughs> I was Barely so upset. Morning. Oh, my God. So, I even told you when I woke up, I'm like, uh, don't drink coffee. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> Yeah, another uh, pettiness, you know, just random pettiness <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, next question. Did you enjoy our first date? Why and why not? Yeah, I mean, it, it was cool. I think first place is all about get, getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I think we had a, a great conversation, you know, during our first date. So I, was just, I would just say just the conversation we had. Yeah, you know. okay. I'll take that. So, which qualities do I find most interesting in you? What? No, this is, no, this is. So, uh-oh, next question. Mm. Do your parents love me? Yes. Confidence. Love you, mom and dad. <laughs> okay, this is. You're, you, you're doing good so far, babe. But this is our last question here. <clears throat> is there anything you wish I did not do? So is there anything you wish I did not do? No. I mean, there's nothing that comes to mind that I just like, I hate that you don't, you, you don't, you know, something that you don't do. Okay. No. Okay. So it was actually a total of 24 questions. So, congratulations. <laughs> so, um, I don't think I'm going to edit this, but we'll see. Should I edit this one? Up to you. I mean, this is definitely like the answer that you will get from him, from my husband. Um, he's very honest. He doesn't sugarcoat um, anything. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I'm going to edit this. It's because... I want you guys to hear and see all the all the questions, obviously all the answers that he has for all of my questions. So no editing, because I think he did great. Good. He did great, baby. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the husband tag. Um, my husband did great. You did great, baby. So good. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm sure this won't be the last time. No, it won't be the last time. So, 
Well, thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope... Oh, shit. Well, I will edit that one. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next video. And like my husband said, this is going to be... This is not going to be the last time you're going to see him. He's going to be... Um, featured in um you know my upcoming videos so until next time guys um stay tuned for next video mabuhay